Today I'm so excited to share this recipe with you all. Oven baked tilapia fish. Baked in a kitchen foil, it tastes so delicious and yummy. Hello everyone, welcome back to Continental Food and Cake TV. If today is your first time here, you are highly, highly welcome. My name is Joy Joy. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. Thank you for clicking. So here I have my tilapia fish. The fish that I'm using is frozen, but I defroze it. So next with my scissors, I'm going to trim up all the, you know, the bones, then clean up the fish. While I'm cleaning up the tilapia fish, if you're new here and you've not subscribed, this is the time to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so that whenever I upload new video, you will not miss out. Mrs. Joy, To clean the fish, the more I use water and I wash three times until it's clean. When I'm making fish, I wash it really well. You know the inside of the fish, there's this black stuff, I don't know what it's called. I make sure I scrape it with my hands until it is clean. To wash fish takes me time. Four fish can take me half an hour. So <laughs> I wash my fish very well. I scrape the inside with my hands because there's this black black stuff and I don't I think it tastes bitter. So I wash it, you see, you see, I wash until it is clean. Yes, that's why I'm including this to my video so that you see that <laughs> washing fish is not a joke. Oh. <laughs> I'm just saying that so wash until it's clean so this is my fish now my tilapia fish is clean you can see the inside white white as ever yes that's how I like it so the fish is ready for marinade after washing next I transfer the tilapia fish to a basket so you know reduce the excess water I'm going to show you the water that comes out when you transfer it to the the basket so guys look at this so you don't want the excess water too much water you don't want it when you're marinating your fish so look at that keep it aside you can wash your fish a day before yeah that's if it's too much work so next i create an incision so that the marinade is going to penetrate into the fish To mix the marinade, I have one tablespoon of garlic powder, one tablespoon of onion powder, one tablespoon of smoked paprika, one teaspoon of ginger powder, one teaspoon of white pepper, one teaspoon of curry powder, and one teaspoon of grinded hot pepper, two tablespoons of chicken seasoning, one and a half teaspoon of salt. After that, I mix together until it's well well combined. After mixing until it's well combined, keep it aside for use later. I scoop three teaspoons of the seasoning mix because I want to use it for something else. With this mix, you can just leave it the way it is. But to take it to another level, I add a tablespoon of sweet spice. Sweet spice is also going to add its own flavor to this tilapia fish. It is optional. You can just mix it the way I mixed it before and leave the sweet spice. So it's optional. So next, with vegetable oil, I rub on the fish because I don't want the fish to be dry so it's also going to help the fish not to dry out they are the best. 
Next, apply the seasoning mix on the fish. When you're applying the seasoning mix, you have to be generous. You want the fish to be covered with the seasoning because that's where the flavor is going to come out from. You have to make sure that the fish is covered with the seasoning inside. Cover it, apply it everywhere, the head of the fish. <laughs> you, you're going to see what I'm doing here. You just have to make sure you cover the fish with the spice, the mix, the spice mix. My brother, I love my husband. So you see what I'm talking about? Shower it with the seasoning mix. So next, transfer to a clean plastic and straight to the fridge to marinate for 24 hours. It is a must. You don't leave this for one hour. Marinate till the next day. So I allow my own to stay in the fridge for two days because I was too busy. So here I have vegetable oil. To that I add a tablespoon of the mix and mix it together. I will tell you the reason why I'm mixing this. So back to our tilapia fish that's been marinating for two days. But you can marinate yours for one day. I just was busy. I couldn't, you know, carry on the next day. So here I have kitchen foil. I cut out two pieces. After that, I transfer one of the fish to the kitchen foil because we're going to bake this in the kitchen foil. That is, we want all the flavor to remain in this fish. So add a tablespoon of the mix. Why I'm adding that is I want this fish to be as moist as ever. I don't want any dryness at all. So next, you know, just cover it, pinch the foil paper together. It's very easy, pinch it together and, you know, seal it. Then when it comes to the edge, just twist it, twist it together and twist it up. Repeat this step with all the fish. After that, line your baking tray with kitchen foil. Then transfer the tilapia fish. Then transfer the fish to a preheated oven, 200 degrees Celsius, for at least 45 minutes to an hour. Before you remove the fish, you want to check if the fish is ready. After baking the tilapia fish for 45 minutes, I'm going to show you what the inside looks like. Let me open this yumminess. Look at this yummy, delicious tilapia fish. Baked in a kitchen foil. All the flavor is in there. It is not dry. It is moist. The sauce is there. I transfer to a plate. And to pair this, I pair it with fry yam. You know fry yam. You can even pair it with plantain or pair it with jello fries, pair it with any food of your choice. So here I have this pepper sauce that is so delicious and the link is going to be in the description box. So I'm going to add the sauce as well, which is going to take this tilapia fish to another level. With this sauce, it goes really well with the tilapia fish and the fry yam. Add the sauce from the fish. Nothing go for waste. That sauce is rich in flavor. So this is how I make my tilapia fish with my pepper sauce paired with fried yam. This tastes delicious. This is what they call food from heaven. Yes, every food is from heaven. Without the blessings of God, we cannot plant and it will grow. I present to you the most tasty, delicious, oven-baked tilapia fish. I hope you go out there, get your ingredients and try this recipe because with this, it was so tasty. Guys, I'm going to show you my plates when I finish eating this. When I finish, you know, demolishing the, the, the fish and the, the yam, the sauce. Guys, hey, with my drink, with my cold water. Hmm. 
is sweet where where that is it it, it, it scatter my head that's how we say it in nigeria so do you see my plate <laughs> so this place should tell you to go get your ingredients and try this recipe subscribe if you've not subscribed share this video with your friends and family so that they will learn new recipe i love you all and i'll see you in another one Bye bye